Good morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome to Jasmine in the morning. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. So how was everybody doing? Anybody pick up any Jasmine last night? Nice little dip. Damn, dipped all the way down to one cent seven six. I put in a buy order myself last night for when I was asleep for one cent, uh, one and a half cents. But it didn't fill. But that's okay. That's okay. I was ready just in case, right? I was ready just in case. Uh, <clears throat> what's going on, Alistair? Uh, had, with all this profit, uh, profit being taken. Now would be a great time for Jasmine to start the lockup, FOMO, and for all from all angles over the weekend. Yeah, that you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Dante, what it do, baby boo? What's up, buddy? Max, what's up, brother? Jasmine, not a scam, not a scam. <laughs> Let's go, smash that like button for our brother Rob. Thank you, brother. Jasmine, not a scam. <laughs> oh man, we got We got to get together for a stream this weekend, brother. Uh, I'll shoot you a message a little bit later. So how's everybody doing, man? How is everybody doing? Uh, H. Barbarina, uh, I did last night at uh, 1 cent 9. Very nice, very nice. Uh, I should have set my buy order a little bit higher than 1.5 cents, but I figured, eh, we'll, we'll set it at 1.5 cents and see what happens, right? Um, didn't hit, but that's okay. It's all good in the hood, right? Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Jasmine again, guys. One cent eight eight, pretty much where it was last night when we streamed. Uh, so nothing, nothing really to write home about. Couple of pumps, SCI nets, uh, looking fantastic. Nets has been pumping like crazy lately, eh? It's up twenty six percent on the week when the market's been down. It's pretty crazy. Dante VRA had a huge pullback. Uh, got a bunch. Nice. Did Veracity pull back? Did it pull back big? Where is Veras? Oh yeah, 12%, eh? Not bad. Uh, Max, I won't be able to this weekend, but thanks for the invite. No worries, brother. Shoot me a message. Uh, let me know when you're available. We'll get together. We'll do uh, We'll do a stream, man. Let me know when it's good for you. Uh, yeah, Veracity, nice little pullback, guys. Uh, Manta announced some new partnerships and stuff as well. Very, very good project, guys. If you're not in on Manta, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Um... Pith and Solana pumping. Got to get me some more Pith, guys. Really got to fill up my bag on Pith before it's too late. It's going to be a rocker. I got a Swift Coin video coming today, guys. If you, uh, guys, if you're curious about Swift Coin, check out Max's channel there, Maximus Crypto. He did a uh, a live stream last night, a uh, special guest, uh, and they covered Swift Coin. So check that out if you want more information. Very, very good. I was popping in and out of the stream all night, so definitely good, man. Definitely good. Go check that stream out. Um, and Max will probably chop his stream up and catch his videos, guys, if you want information on SwiftCoin. Uh, made me bullish on it. I was on the fence about it. I was considering picking some SwiftCoin up. Uh, then I watched uh, and I got some more info from Max there, and I'm definitely definitely made my decision that I'm going to be picking some up. So, um uh rule black was the special guest yes yes seemed like a very very intelligent guy very very good at his research uh i could tell uh sounds good rob excellent junction coverage for jasmine thank you brother thank you yeah junction big big things coming man big things coming gotta love it exciting month and we're running out of time uh max has 20 videos to chop up another reason why i won't have much time this weekend oh my goodness <laughs> yeah that's a lot of work brother that's a lot of work oh man all right let's get into some news guys let's see what's going on out there today market like i said market's kind of kind of red guys good dc opportunities filecoin uh matic ronin dot crow good dc opportunities man btc still down at sixty eight thousand. eh all right, well, let's, uh, let's, I wanted to start off, it's not Jasmine, but I want to start off with, uh, with this, because I get asked all the time what's going to happen with Bitcoin, and as you know, Bitcoin leads the market, guys, so let's have a look at it, uh, we got here, Max, uh, ever seen Major League 2 or Major League Back of the Miners, remember Rue Baker, uh, you pronounced Rue, Rule, Rue, anyway, <laughs> 
Oh, my bad, man. My bad. Uh, I did watch Major League. I never seen Major League Two though. Okay, will Bitcoin surge to 100k or retreat to 50k? Community awaits signals. Egrad, a prominent uh, figure in the crypto community, uh, is closely monitoring Bitcoin's current candle information to decipher the next potential move in its trajectory. With Bitcoin's recent volatility, traders and investors are eagerly awaiting signals to gauge whether the leading cryptocurrency will surge towards 100k or retrace back to 50k. What do you guys think? Are we going up or down? Uh, Filecoin is part of my early retirement. Yeah, man. Filecoin is going to be huge. I picked up a big bag of Filecoin like close about a year and a half ago, closer to the bottom. Uh, Bitcoin's price action has been uh, oscillating between bullish and bearish sentiment, uh, prompting speculation about the future direction. Egrad Crypto emphasizes the significance of analyzing candlestick patterns as they offer valuable insights into market sentiment and potential price movements. The previous candle formation in early January led Egrad Crypto to anticipate a potential retracement to Fib uh, 0.5, signaling uh, a strengthening of market structure. However, the subsequent bullish candle inf uh, information, sorry, formation, invalidated this downside scenario, indicating a shift in momentum towards high price targets. Currently, Bitcoin is in the midst of forming a new candle with approximately nine days remaining of its closure. Egrad Crypto highlights the the pivotal, uh, pi yeah, the pivot. I was just say pivotal. <laughs> I always accidentally say pivotal. Um, pivotal, <laughs> anyway, role this candle will play in determining Bitcoin's trajectory. A full body candle closing above 69,725, coupled with a favorable formation shape, could signify a bullish continuation towards 100k. Uh, but we're not closing so far above 69, we didn't last night. However, Egrad Crypto expresses a personal preference for Bitcoin to retest 50k, corresponding to FIB uh, the 786 as it would establish a healthier market structure. This cautious approach reflects an understanding of the importance of market stability and sustaining long-term growth. And it's, uh, it's essential to acknowledge the cyclical nature of markets characterizing, characterized by waves of bullish and bearish sentiment. Despite short-term fluctuations, EGRAD crypto maintains a long-term perspective recognizing the inherent volatility of cryptocurrencies. And here's the thing, this, this ETF inflow stuff has really kind of smashed our entire model, right? So it's so hard to know what's coming next, guys. Uh, and I keep getting asked that every stream. I, somebody asks me, you know, uh, what's your price on this? How? When are we going to be here kind of thing? And it's like, guys, again, we're, we're trying to hit a moving target here at the end of the day, right? Um the cryptocurrency community eagerly awaits the outcome of Bitcoin's current candle formation as it holds key uh, deciphering the next phase of its trajectory with eGrad's crypto's uh, expertise and strategic insights. Traders and investors are poised to navigate the dynamic cryptocurrency market with confidence. So what do you guys think? Are we going to 100K? Is the inflow going to continue or... Are we going to see that correction? I don't think we can correct down to 50k at this point. I think that uh, I think the furthest that we could really uh, correct, so to speak, would probably be um, I think around that 63,000 level, something like that. But uh, facts: I bought some uh, Cybertex Finance last night. Crazy potential, only 10 million max supply. Yeah, I think we looked at that last night. It looked really good. Uh, Max, Rob, I have no requests from you, brother, other than uh, this one thing. When you see Corey Beebs, <laughs> a.k.a. Beebs in the chat, you must welcome him as Corey, <laughs> Corey Beebe, a.k.a. Jasmine Not a Scam. <laughs> he will thank you later. <laughs> you got it, brother. You got it. I got I to gotta write that down because I'll probably forget it verbatim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Corey Beebs. Yeah, he's funny. Uh, Jasmine, not a scam. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome, buddy. 
Elizabeth, how are you? I haven't seen you in, a, in about a week. How you doing? Uh, Alistair, Jasmine's starting to perform better than BTC over the past 30 days, 30 minutes. Maybe buyers are uh, coming in. Probably. I mean, like I said, yesterday was, uh, last night was more of just a sweep of the lows, right? So, um, what are we looking at right now? Uh, yeah, 1.88, down 4%. Uh, sun is hot. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I could see I could see a little bit of a turnaround today, a little bit of a correction happening. Um, Max, uh, we're definitely going to uh, over 100k per BTC. Uh, Investor Place did a solid report on the actual data to support the fourth boom cycle. Thesis uh, alts are going to run hard. This is just a pullback. I agree, Max. I agree, brother. I think in the next few weeks, alts are going to go kind of nuts. Um, and like they've been they've been kind of just holding on uh you know for for quite a while now and it's only a matter of time before they burst we're starting to see these minor little uh little spurts because uh, you know it's like like uh, the analogy i like to use guys is like imagine holding like a whole bunch of water in your mouth and your cheeks are just like you know like this and just a little bit of water sprays out once in a while. That's kind of what's happening with the altcoins right now. They're all just kind of like little spurts are coming out because they're ready to just go, right? So that's that's kind of how I look at it, man. So, uh, Henry, what's up, man? I found your channel. Is there something I'm not sure of? Uh, I came here and you always have the uh, have an answer. Thank you for your experience and sharing it. No problem, Henry. Welcome to the channel, man. It's good to have you here, my friend. I'm glad that I could help you out. In any way possible. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button on the way in. Uh, that would be fantastic. Alright, so let's let's talk some more here, guys. Let's talk some more. Anyway, still some good DC opportunities, guys. So, look at that. Casp is down to 13 cents, guys. I'm definitely going to scoop some more up. Uh, what do we got from our good friend, Neo Sun? It says, Jasmine Layer 2 will connect with, uh, with the power of the EVM network to boost Jasmine's ecosystem and expand its market. Until now, Jasmine has been developing IoT platforms with the goal of democratizing data and now are ex uh, extending this objective via Layer 2s. With Jasmine's uh, Jasmine Chain Layer 2 <clears throat> and the decentralized data store and manage your data securely and transparently using Jasmine's decentralized IA as seen previously. Jasmine's layer two uh, gives users control of their data. Um, doo -doo -doo. Alistair, uh, when is your first profit take on Jasmine? Uh, I'm thinking taking a bit uh, at 30 cents, 60 cents and 90 cents. Then holding for over a dollar. That's not a bad plan, Alistair. That's not a bad plan, buddy. Uh, Max, uh, you doing that visual reminds me of Billy the Kid character in the Green Mile. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. <laughs> uh, when it explodes and blue pie all over the guard. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, man. I was actually going to ask you, Max, if you had done any looking into what I covered yesterday the uh the new partnership or collaboration with c2e uh that that uh platform that had launched yesterday that uh, partnered with Jankshin, giving jasmine uh access to uh currently four million users for their uh potential uh pdl uh users i don't know i don't know if you've looked into that much at all uh let me know brother let me know I, i'm very curious to know your thoughts on that um elizabeth 100 uh zachariah uh how you doing bro let's go jasmine army what's up zachariah good to see you brother good to see you man all right what else do we got going on here guys uh check out the comparison of asset values guys just in the nine new bitcoin etfs have overtaken officially grayscale's gbtc for total assets guys we finally the inflows have finally taken over the outflows um uh so that is that's mega mega bullish guys it's only going to continue so uh max yeah i saw your coverage excellent coverage and i'm expanding on it believe it or not nice brother i'm looking forward to your take on it man i want to see your take on it i'm very curious um <laughs> what's up shea boy how you doing buddy uh crypto boy what's up man 
Max just have so, just have too much still to chop up. Yeah, I seen I seen you uh, the last stream that that you and I did. There was like four hours, and then it was like videos. You were chopping videos. They're they're popping up for like <laughs> for like four or five days. That was awesome, buddy. It was good work though, man. It was good work. I had a lot of fun hanging out. Uh, Dwayne, uh, hey Rob, Max, uh, Maximus needs to know exactly how much we've been sacrificing over here. <laughs> Uh, somebody got mad at me for continuing to play that. Uh, they said it keeps uh, it keeps hurting their eardrums. So I'll warn you guys ahead of time. Turn your volume down. This is going to be. But you can't do this to me. Right. There's your warning. You know how much I sacrificed. <laughs> Jasmine haters, right there. <laughs> when they when they sell before when they sell before uh, before Jasmine's pump. You know how much I sacrifice. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> uh, KK, how you doing? Horan will change your life. And hello, hey KK, how you doing, buddy? Uh, great buying Jasmine, Lily, how you doing, Lily? Good to see you. Uh, Max, inflows, outflows, baby, uh, baby burn, mo, baby burn, burn, <laughs> disco inferno. <laughs> Hara, no. Uh, the lyrical Jasmine freestyle has taken place. Mess with Rob, you ain't safe. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Uh, what do we got? Bruno, what's up, buddy? Good to see you, man. Sun is hot. Uh, I'm currently just collecting Jasmine past a million so I can leave in a million uh, as a moonbag. That's not a bad idea, you know? Collect two million Jasmine. Uh sell 1 million at the top and then hold a million for the long term. It's not a bad play, man. That's not a bad play. I respect it. I respect it. Uh these guys Bitchinex, these guys asked me to jump over and let them sponsor my channel from L Bank, but I decided not to. Um uh, but anyway, they say on their chart, BTC's recent descent below the 69k mark aligns with our predictions, initiating a rapid decline towards our established pullback targets of 64.3k, followed by 58k, should the former not sustain. Uh, and that's that's what I said a few minutes ago, guys. If you go back, I said that I don't see it really dropping below 64, 63k, uh, but. Uh, despite this pullback, the broader market indicators remain positive, suggesting a robust foundation for a quick recovery. We remain optimistic about B BTC's potential to ascend to our short-term bullish target of 77K once this corrective phase concludes, reflecting the inherent strength and resilience of the Bitcoin market. Just, just say... Just say the inflows are going to continue to get crazier and crazier. You don't got to try to be fancy with it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Maximus, the crypto professor, 100%. Alistair, thoughts on Jasmine price by 12th of April, BTC having. Uh, can we break five cents by then, do you think? Yes, I do think we can break that for sure. Uh, but again, as I always preface, guys... Uh, a lot of what's going to happen with Jasmine, not only in the next couple of months, but in the next year, in this next year, is all uh, depending on Jasmine uh, meeting their own schedule, their own timeline, timeline, right? I mean, it's the 15th of the month. We're supposed to have uh, at least some information on on Jankshin, on uh, like Jasmine Chain, on the PDL, uh, on the roadmap, on, um, you know, the lockup, like we need some information at this point. And, uh, I mean, we got two weeks left of the month for them to, uh, you know, to kind of start dumping some info on us, some alpha. So hopefully soon, uh, we can know something. So it's hard for me to say for sure, uh, you know, what the target price is going to be if I don't have all of the information yet. Right. I'd like to get a good solid look at that roadmap for the year, that would really, really help. Um, so hopefully that comes out uh, sometime next week at the latest. Um, KK, uh, for context, I bought Jasmine at uh, 15 cents and sold at 30 cents. Uh, Bruno, uh, I first got into Jasmine after watching Max's YouTube a couple years back. Very nice, very nice. 
Very nice. Wise and wise investment. Diamond balls. Yo, brother. Thought on uh, thoughts on Mog and Cock. Uh, Mog, I don't know. I could have a look at Mog, but uh, Cock. I mean, it's it's been around for a while now. Um, there's a new one that uh, somebody had me looking at last night. It, it was absolutely hilarious. It's uh, it's uh, basically it's black, black Cock, right? Which I thought was hilarious. I don't know. Um, but that's the new one on the block. But I'll look at Mog. What is Mog? Another meme coin? $358 million market cap. Uh, hmm, most of the supply is in circulation. 609, eh? It hasn't really had a, a massive, massive run yet. I just, I don't like that it's on Ethereum. Because the gas fees are too high. Oh, look at that. It's on the channel sponsor L-Bank, right? Crypto.com. Hmm. I mean, it seems like, it seems like a, as good as any other meme coin play, if you ask me. I mean, you know, it's, just, it's no worse than any of the other ones. No better. Um, seems, seems decent, I guess. I'm kind of neutral on it. Um... Max, uh, hey Bruno, uh, that old channel I am no longer part of since September 23, new channel, Maximus Crypto, just a heads up. Yeah, check out Max's new channel. Check him out, guys. Let's check him out right here, man. Check me out right here, yo. I'm going to bring up Max's channel, guys. Go in here and you're shooting him a sub, all right? Why is your picture not there? I don't know if my screen's not loading. Did you take your, uh, did you take your picture down? Oh, there it is. There it is. There you go, guys. Go check out Max. There's his channel, guys. Check him out. Shoot him a follow. Uh, shoot him a sub, I mean. Trust me, you're not going to regret, um, the research that Max does, he just, Max just said in the chat, guys, that uh, if you liked my uh, breaking news yesterday about Jankshin and CDE, um, then, you know, Max just said he's going to be expanding on that, so you're not going to want to miss that, guys, so you're going to want to go subscribe to his channel, and you're not going to want to miss that, also, uh, he did a good, uh, good video, good live stream last night covering Swift, uh, swift coin so if you if you want to i get asked for information on swift coin all the time guys so i'm telling you right now if you want alpha on that uh go watch max's live stream from last night okay i get asked all the time about it so i know there's a lot of you guys that want information on it you're not going to find any better alpha than than what max did last night on it so definitely go check that out uh bu -bu -bu. So I saw, where do you see Jasmine five to ten years from now? Me, I see it between fifty and a hundred bucks. Ouch! I have no idea, man. That is, uh, you're asking me to cast quite a long line there, brother. Five to ten years. Holy smokes! Um, I'll say, I'll say seventeen dollars. We'll go with seventeen dollars. <laughs> um, uh, because because banner scam, <laughs> banner scam. <laughs> Oh man, um, Ka, yeah, we looked at Ka, uh, I believe yesterday we looked at it, uh, it's that new meme coin on, uh, Kronos, right? Ka, or is it, it's, yeah, it's Ka coin, I think it's over on Coin Market Cap, though, it's not on Coin Gecko. Well, it's not on here either. Where did I see it? Was it uh, was it Dex Tools? Yeah, this one seems to be getting popular. So uh, it's over on Kronos, right? Uh, there we go. Yeah, this one's gaining a lot of momentum for sure. So. Uh, it's already at a four point three one million dollar market cap. 
771 trillion. Holy smokes. <clears throat> yeah. It's getting popular, though, so, you know, getting popular. All right, what else do we got? Uh, Crossbone, what's up, man? Hey, Rob, thoughts on Bonk coin? Bonk will have a decent bull run, in my opinion. Uh, I think that the the, para, the real parabolic run on it is already passed, but it's still going to have a good run. It's similar to how Shiba Inu did in the last bull run, right? Shib, Shib had this parabolic run when it first came out, same, same thing Bonk did, and then it kind of you know, chop sideways for quite a long time. You know, they did the whole 50% of Vitalik and all that fun stuff. And uh, and then when alts went off, Shiba Inu went off as well. Bonk will do the same thing, in my opinion. It'll, it'll kind of mirror what Sheep did. Probably cross off a zero, something like that. Bonk will do okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Koval, Koval. I think we looked at Koval the other day too. Circuits of value. Yeah, 48, almost $49 million market cap. 100% uh, of the supply and circulation. You love to see it. Privacy coins. Guys, listen. When it comes to privacy coins, I like their use case, okay? I got nothing against them. I just don't think that the world governments are going to allow uh, privacy coins to exist, right? At some point, they will be attacked, and you don't want to be standing there holding a bag of it when they are, right? We already have seen uh, a lot of mass delistings on privacy coins because the governments are not going to be okay with you hiding your transactions and stuff like that. At the end of the day, they're just not. They want your money. They want to know what you have. They want to know how much you have. They want to know all your transactions. They're not going to allow privacy coins to exist that's just my personal opinion. As much as I like their use case and I think that they're solid projects, I just can't bring myself to buy any because I know that the next day after I do, the government's going to attack them, right? So <laughs> that's just that's just my stance on it, man. Um, uh, Max, thank you, Rob. Ain't no problem, brother. I got you, man. I got you, homie. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I got to get back to work. Take care, everyone. Thanks for all that you do for all of us, Rob. Uh, thank you for as well, Sun is Hot. Thanks, Max. Have a good day, brother. Shoot me a message a little bit later, man. We'll chat. Uh, Bruno, hello, Max. Yeah, I found out at the end of 2023. Uh, okay, had a new channel. Yep. Uh, KK, bonk. Uh, I'm over 2K from $38 investment. Nice. Um, I'm telling you, Solana coins can be a good play. I hope you took profits, uh, KK. That's uh, that's crazy good uh, good return there, man. Because uh, you don't want to be standing there, you know, sacrificing, you know, sacrificing those gains, brother. Um, Danny, what's up, buddy? I have a question concerning the Discord server. Uh, is Bryson uh, eleven eighty five twenty one? moderator well i'll tell you this much right now there are no moderators at all i've not assigned any moderators to the discord whatsoever none um 11 so the answer is no uh it's it's a scammer uh there's only one crypto future that's me uh, and guys, just so you know, uh, over on the Discord, I will absolutely never private message you um, asking you for to send me anything. I'll never ask you to click any links. Uh, I will never uh, contact you with any kind of special promotion. Uh, I'll never contact you asking you questions about how you're doing in the market. None of that stuff, guys. I don't have time to do that stuff, right? Um so just know that, yeah, I will never do that stuff. So if someone messages you pretending to be me, telling you about a, a promotion or anything, do not click any links. Do not just, just block them. Uh, don't listen to anything that they say because I promise you it's not me, okay? Any special thing I'm doing, you will see me here on camera talk about on the channel. Anything else is, is a scam. And I have no, t I have no uh, 
uh, WhatsApp. I don't have any WhatsApp or anything like that either. So, um, so yeah. Uh, Lord of the Realm, what's up, buddy? Good morning, everyone. Another uh, beautiful day to DCA, 100%. Uh, the reason I say 50 to 100 bucks is because the global connections Jasmine's making. I agree, and the, and the lockup could be fantastic, could be you know massive too, right? So, so I'm not disagreeing, son. It's just hard to make a prediction 10 years down the road, right? Um, KK, yep, uh, and rolled that into uh, many other Solana prod coins. Nice, buddy. Uh, got Soul Flare wallet to build up 8x portfolio. Very nice, brother. Uh, Danny, just making sure I got a PM from this person. Uh, it says, uh, hello, how are you doing today, uh, my good friend? Hope you're using a strategy to make successful making money in the market. Yeah, that's definitely not me. <laughs> uh, Bruno, uh, hey Rob, where do you see Bitcoin in the next week? Uh, I think this is just a minor correction. I think in the next week we could see Bitcoin run anywhere between 75 and, and 77K. That's what I think. Uh, but it is possible at the same time to see it, you know, have this pullback down to uh, around 64K. But in saying that, I don't think it's, you know, it's realistic and it's possible, but I don't think it's it's going to happen. I think that this buying pressure is just too much. These inflows are too much uh, for... Um, too much for it to go down that low, right? So, I mean, we might have that pullback down for the weekend, though, because there's no inflows on weekends, right? So we could see that pullback on the weekend and, and then a massive pump next week. So that wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, Danny, uh, great. I had a feeling. Thanks. No worries, brother. I got you. Uh, Richie Rich, I'm excited uh, for the gem you gave out yesterday to the members. Yes, me too, man. Me too, brother. I think it's going to be great. Uh, of course, I think every gem we drop is going to be great, brother. You know how we do. <laughs> okay, what else do we got? Uh, KK also took profits and started Phantom Wallet and uh, 2x my profits. Nice, brother. Nice. Sun is hot. I've been hearing that green Bitcoin presale might potentially be a scam. Yeah, I don't participate in those kind of uh, pre-sales and stuff like that for that very reason. There's so many scams out there, guys. So many scams. Um, if you're new here, guys, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button, right? Uh, H Barbarina, I I heard a member from an uh, I heard a member from another uh, chat got scammed seventy grand on what? H Barbarina, what'd they get scammed on? Uh, KK, uh, but that is uh, play money. My only interest is Jasmine. 100% man. Uh, Jasmine will be the return of the longest <laughs> longest long-term hold. Exactly. Tim, just bought another $100 in Jasmine. Slow and steady. Exactly. Slow and steady wins the race, man. <clears throat> Some more analysis here on uh, BTC. Uh, BTC has fully uh, recaptured the losses incurred following the post-ETF approval dip. The ongoing inflows of ETFs coupled with the impending 2024 Bitcoin halving uh, and the sustained high levels of liquid, uh, liquid supply paint an exceptionally bullish picture uh, for BTC. i got to move my microphone here. Uh, price movements across all time horizons, short term, medium term, and long term. The rebound in BTC came after the price approached uh, the short term holder. Uh, yeah, we know all. We know what happened. Um, we know what happened, but that's good. It's looking bullish on the short term, medium term, and the long term. Essentially, is what your takeaway should be. Facts just bought the dip, but it keeps dipping. <laughs> when I dip, you dip. We dip. <laughs> Uh, my dear friend Neosun says each application and service on Jasmine will. Uh, 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 oh, where did I, where was it? Sorry. Each application uh, and service on Jasmine will uh, equent. Uh, e a a little. I can't say the word. Showcase the myriad use cases of Jasmine, uh, both on blockchain and in the real world, promising 
uh, to be truly staggering in the years to come. These use cases extend far beyond mere financial transactions and encompasses various uh, domains such as logistics, supply chain, management, intellectual property, protection, asset tokenization, sports entertainment, etc. Thus promising a re uh, re revitalizing numerous, uh, revolutionizing, uh, re blah, 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 blah. I'm having trouble saying words this morning, guys. Jesus. Uh, numerous sectors in years ahead. Very bullish, guys. I love getting my updates from Neo. I love his perspective. Very, very bullish. Um, Bitcoin surpasses gold in investor portfolio allocation, says JP Morgan. Crazy. And then it's funny because JP Morgan then on the other hand was just saying this morning, I believe, spreading more FUD uh, about Bitcoin. Like they just don't stop over there, guys. <clears throat> BTC, in four days, Bitcoin will officially enter the danger zone. Let's zoom in here. The danger zone, where historical pre-having retraces have begun. Historically, Bitcoin has performed pre-having retraces 14 to 28 days before the halving. Uh, in 2020, this retrace was minus 20% uh, dip. In 2016, it was a 40% dip. Uh, currently, BTC is 32 days away from the halving. Uh, and has pulled back 11% this week. So they're saying, could we pull back another uh, another 9 to 29% for Bitcoin? Possible. Possible. But again, these inflows kind of change things a little bit, right? Uh, sun is hot. With, uh, with news like this, how can Jasmine not reach 50 to 100? I agree. I agree. Crypto homes, facts. I bought the dip of the dip of the dip in the bear market and it kept DCAing every week. Now I'm up bigly, even with this latest dip. 100%. 100%. Uh, Jasmine main support, still not broken, guys. Uh, in a falling wedge of the daily, currently bouncing off the lower trend line here in support as well at 1 cent 84, guys. We are still holding this we dipped we scam wicked below it and then pulled right back up again and as you can see we're still above it right we're still holding that main support level for jasby uh if we lose the support uh expect to see a one cent two or one cent three and a bounce off there but a chance that that happening is still low uh that will um that will cause only if BTC goes 60K or lower, which I do not see uh, BTC dropping below 60K, but it can happen, right? Um, Crypto Boy, wow, nice info. Uh, KK, the halving chart says uh, there must be a dip before the halving, just saying. Yeah, that has historically been the case. The problem is these et uh, these these inflows guys right i ag i agree kk 100 percent, and i'm a big proponent of the four-year cycle repeating or mirroring anyway the thing is these inflows have changed so much and you also have to remember that before the halving you generally see an altcoin burst as well and we have not seen that yet either right we're still waiting for that so it's going to be interesting to see how things continue to play out. That's for sure. Uh, also today, um, <clears throat> 3.35 uh, billion worth uh, worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum options expire today, guys. So we could see some major volatility because of that as well. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, Jasmine fam, let's welcome everyone who are new to this crypto world. Welcome to the wild, wild west, everyone. Uh, where, where when we move, we move really, we really move up and down. Uh, <clears throat> but lucky for you, we're generally moving generally up. Yes, I agree. We're in this uh, little bit of a bear flag here, as you can see, or bull flag, not bear flag. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Uh, so we'll kind of see what happens. We'll stay on top of it, guys. It's not looking too bad. It's on the daily. So we'll see what's up. We'll see what is up. Uh, Jasmine circulating supply, 98.60%, un unchanged over the past few months. 
With the crypto, crypto market explosion in mind after the BTC halving, uh, is it a policy to save the last tiger cub? In any case, uh, the number of accounts held is steadily increasing. Uh, it's almost certain that it will increase further from the autumn uh, onwards. Of course, once the uh, the PDL launches and the Jasmine chain launches, absolutely, you're going to see wallet uh, the wallet holders uh, completely explode in number, in my opinion. <clears throat> As you can see, we've gone up over almost 5,000 in the last like uh, last like two months or so. It's continuing to go upwards, very very bullish. 64,829 holders and climbing. Uh, Lord of the Realm. Any ETA on when they will start releasing Jasmine Secure PCs? Uh, I'm hoping sometime next year in the United States and Canada. Uh, but we're gonna have to stay on top of it, right? Willie, what's up, buddy? Uh, Michael, hey, Earn community in the house. Hope all is well. Yeah, Earn's been doing pretty good too, man. Earn's been doing good. Um, I think one of our one of our members, William, told me to look at Earn months ago when it first came out. We looked at it and said it looked like it was a decent little project. Uh, KK E Warren uh, just pumped Horan to point two nine. <laughs> Clay, what's up, Rob? Just another Crypto Friday. Yep, exactly. Just another Crypto Friday, guys. Um, KK, I bet she's the biggest holder. She probably is. She probably made it. Willie got 6K of Jasmine at uh, 2 cents 1. Now I'm like, damn, I should I should have waited. No, I never have that, never have that mentality, man. If it dips, then you DCA some more, right? That's how we do. That is how we do. That's why you don't ape in. You just you DCA so that you always have more dry powder to buy up more of those dips. Here's some proof, guys. Apparently, there was uh, some hate, Jasmine haters talking about uh, the announcement of uh, Hara and Jasmine being a silver sponsor at uh, the Web3 AI Summit in, um, in J Japan next month. Uh, but, uh, no, it's true. Jasmine Jankshin, Hara, silver sponsor, guys. You love to see it. You love to see it. Very, very bullish. Um, what else do we got? Neo Sun. Jasmine seems to highlight the idea that tokenizing real world assets, uh, offers the possibility of applying traditional stock market concepts, such as market value of stocks, uh, and the symbolic world of token by attaching a secured underlying value to a token as well as potential future value. They believe it could create a safe and objective market based on tangible criteria. Essentially, the team views tokenization as a way to, uh, to, make, uh, to make real world assets more liquid and accessible while preserving their intrinsic value. Uh, in the context of IoT, this could be applied by tokenizing assets related to devices. For example, data generated by these devices could be in encapsulated into Jasmine coins representing shares of this data or us usage rights. Uh, these tokens could then be traded on the market when their value could be determined by demand. Uh, in this data, for, sorry, for this data and its potential future utility. By associating a secured underlying value with these tokens, one could ensure the quality and authenticity of the data while incorporating potential future value based on forecasts of increased usage or adoption of IoT devices. In this scenario, it could invo involve tokenized data generated by IoT devices thus enabling the creation of a market where this data can be exchanged and valued transparently and objectively. Big things popping. Uh, Rob, did you see that VRA is trying to onboard about uh, 200 publishers? Yeah, I, I saw that. You messaged me about that this morning. Uh, I'm looking into it. Uh, I'll be doing another uh, Veracity video coming up. Uh, I got a list I got to go through here. I got to go through uh, Swiftcoin and Veracity. I got a couple of videos to do. So uh, I will be all over those for sure. 
Uh, Son of Sot, you mentioned Jasmine being a sponsor for the Japanese Soccer League. Well, here is the UK soccer football is national sport. So if it hits a Premier League uh, Cup, it will be huge. Exactly. That's exactly it. And soccer is, is, if you live in the States or Canada, you might not like hearing this, but soccer is the world's most uh, famous sport. So most popular sport. So that is very, very bigly. Exactly. Lord of the Realm, can't wait for a day. Uh, all my devices are running on Jasmine, 100%. Uh, X marks the spot. What's up, man? Yo, 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 folks. Richie Rich, your favorite exchange or way to put crypto money into your bank account? You mean, what do I on and off ramp to? I usually on and off ramp to an exchange called either ShakePay or Newton. They're both Canadian exchanges. I generally use them as my on and off ramps. Uh, because they're Canadian, it's easier for me to e-transfer money back and forth from them. But that being said, I usually will off ramp my money from an exchange over to my PayPal account first, and then I'll move it from my PayPal account to my bank account. That way, the bank doesn't know that the money came from a crypto exchange, so the bank won't give me a hard time and seize my assets and launch an investigation or something like that, uh, because all the bank will see is that your money came from PayPal, not from a crypto exchange, right? Because it's really none of the bank's business uh, at the end of the day, so... Uh, that, that's how, that's how I tend to do it. Uh, KK, uh, just remember the biggest Jasmine projects are not likely under NDAS. Yes. Are like, yes, they are. They're usually under those, um, um, NDAS is exactly, um, just, uh, cannot disclose. I can't, I can't remember the word I'm looking for, but, uh, Yes. Make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button, guys. Uh, Ack was looking like it was going to, to run uh, right up before BTC dip. Yeah, that happens sometimes. You get an altcoin that looks like it's ready to rip, but then it doesn't because BTC's like, guess what? Nope. Nope. We ain't doing that. Uh, what's BTC now? 68.2. Jasmine not looking too bad. Uh, also, guys, I made a pretty big move in my portfolio uh, last night. I told the members about it on the member side what my move was. I sold out of one project and bought into another. Uh, NDAS, uh, they're, they're non-disclosure agreements, basically, Sun is Hot. Like, uh, they're, it basically means that they're in partnerships, they're, they're in business uh, uh, agreements with other projects, companies, whatever it is, but uh, other under NDAs, um, you cannot discuss it publicly, right? Uh, Non-disclosure agreement or something like that it stands for. That way, yeah, that way companies can uh, get through these contracts and stuff like that uh, in quiet behind the scenes before information gets out and then they release the information once uh, basically... A deal is basically sealed, so to speak, right? So <clears throat> that's how they keep information from leaking, right? Uh, when you're under a non-disclosure agreement, uh, it's a legally binding contract, right? So, <clears throat> uh, can't, can't spill the beans, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, that's all the news I have for you this morning, guys. So. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys are here this evening. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do a live stream, probably around six, uh, six between six and seven uh, central. So make sure you guys are here for that. As you guys know, on Fridays I gotta work at the bar tonight. So uh, make sure you guys are here for tonight's stream. Thanks guys for coming. Greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later this evening. Have a good one, guys.